Hi, my name is Kathy Patterson Sterling. I'm the Director of Family Services for the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And we're doing a six part series looking at relapse. Relapse indicators and why does relapse happen? So what I wanted to talk about in this, these few short minutes here is exactly looking at physical relapse. So I distinguish relapse as physical relapse, mental, emotional relapse. Physical relapse is returning to the use of the drugs and alcohol or the acting out behaviors, whether that be sexual acting out as part of sex addiction or whatever it is. So there's the physical relapse, but well before that, a person goes into emotional or mental relapse. Uh, in, in common terms, we describe that as is stinking thinking. It's like a stinking thinking train is in motion so that the person is starting to get off center with their thinking, they're starting to fill up with self-pity, uh, self-doubt, negativity, anxiety, fear, um, overconfidence, whatever it is that helps them be off-center. The physical relapse is the end and the culmination of all of that. So that's why it's so important for people to have a recovery program so that they're staying on track. And when they start to slide in their thinking, as often we'll lie to ourselves first before we lie to other people. And we're on that slippery slope of relapse. And so it's so important to have recovery program and have accountability partners and a team of people helping you when you slide in your thinking so that Physical relapse does not have to be a reality. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you later. Take care.